Hello, how are you all of you? I hope you must be enjoying the study of English grammar. Today we are going to learn the next part of speech is known as verb. Verb plays a very important role in English language. We see if you want to complete any sentence without verb, you can't complete meaningful sentence. That's why today we are going to learn the type of verbs. How many types of verbs are there in English language and its role and how it important in a sentence we will see today the type of verbs the difference between verbs and the most important examples with the help of pictures i will describe how do you mean verb and so on before watching this video please like comment and subscribe my channel Tima's educational world i hope that you must be enjoying this video please watch till the end if you have any query, any doubt, please comment. I will try to give answer. Hi, this is Nisima. Welcome back to my channel, Sima's Educational Verb. Let us learn the type of verb. In this video, I will help you to learn what do you mean verb. You know that in English grammar, verb, there are parts of speech. The verb is very important, plays an important role. So, let us learn verb. verb. What do you mean verb? It is a word that tells us about the action or movement of a person, thing, and animal. For example, there are primary verbs and the secondary verbs. M is R O. Word is being appear, feel, grow, turn, grow, get, remain. Today, these are the verbs. Verb. Before learning about what I mean, verb, please observe this picture carefully. Yes, in these pictures, we see writing, reading, eating, drinking, sitting, standing, walking, running, jumping, playing, swimming, leaping, smiling, crying, standing, walking, eating, reading, dancing, playing, growling, screaming, throwing, pushing, riding, climbing. Cooking. These are the word expresses or uh, with the help of this word we know these are the action verb. The definition of verb. Verb word which is used to complete the meaningful sentence called verb. If we make sentence in the sentence subject verb object three parts are very essential. If that verb is absent the sentence is not meaningful or the sentence incomplete instead of verb. A verb that describes an action an event or state of mind state of being. Another word verb it means it can be one word or more than one word or word phrase it always comes after the subject in a sentence is a kind of verb you know that there are different kind or types of verbs so the main verbs there are the main type relative verb and the dynamic verb sometimes we know these are the action verbs the second one main verb is known as principal verb or the lexical verb and the helping verb is known as auxiliary verb for example static verb we will see the example not used in the ing form you know that verb form we never use in a continuous tense ing form some verbs we can use as a static and action verbs. For example, I have cell phone. I is here subject. Have is here stative verb. It shows that I have a cell phone. Yes, have is here stative verb. Yes, I is here subject. Cell phone is here object or remaining part of the sentence. Now shows here possession stative. Cell phone is belongs to me. I have. That's why this is possession or the stative verb. So let us learn the different type of verbs. Main verb is known as principal verb. Transitive verb. Intransitive verb. Link. Speaking verb, auxiliary verb, model verb. Model verbs are very important while speaking, asking questions, while request, requesting someone to do on this and that. That time model verbs plays an important role. Finite verb, infinite verb, these are the types of verbs. So, you know that the kind of verbs, there are actually main important kinds of verbs. Finite verb and non-finite verb. In finite verb, there are principal verb, main verb, lexical verb, linking verb is known as copular verb, auxiliary verb auxiliary verb is known as helping verb auxiliary verb known as helping verb primary verb or secondary verb there are two types you know, help verb. in non finite verb we see there are infinitives you know that infinitive oh, there is a two plus base form of the verb for example play two play g runs for example g runs 
verb act as a noun plus ing. If we remove to and add ing, it will be gerunds. For example, to play is there here. If you take example of to play, if we delete to and add ing, it is gerund. The next part participles in the present participle, past participle, perfect participle. These are the type of non-finite verb. I hope you you understood the difference between finite verb and the non-finite verb. So let us learn the three main kinds of verb. Helping verb it helps to show an action. Previous at the starting we saw there are different type of verb. Help of picture are added before another verb to make it a verb. Read a whole sentence. Action verb known as main verb, transitive verb and intransitive verb. It shows an action. Sometimes is regular form or irregular form. You know that difference between regular form and irregular form. Action verb, verb main verb, transitive and intransitive shows an action. Irregular or regular form. It tells us what action something or something is performing or what the subject is doing in the sentence. The next one, third number, linking verb. Links together connects a noun or pronoun with the word that identifies or describes it, providing additional information about subject. These verbs are known as a linking verbs. For example, action verbs. In action verbs, in previous, oh. Uh, at the starting, we saw there are two pictures. All these are the action words: read, listen, speak, write, learn, hear, dance, sing, walk, talk, jump, say. These are the action words, etc. Helping verbs: may, might, must, be, been, being, am, is, are, was, were, do, does, did, should, could, would, have, has, had, will, can, shall, etc. These are the helping words. Linking verbs: in the linking verbs, we see. Be, am, is, are, was, were, being, been, been, being, same, become, having, has been, have been, are being, was being, is being, etc. And the smell, feel, taste, do, look, appear, they remain, get, swim, sound, turn, go, etc. These are the examples of action verb and the helping verb or the linking verb. We'll see the main part. Here. You know the basic forms of verbs. Basic forms of the verb. In the last video we have watched the tense video there we have watched the form of verb and so on. So today so let's learn basic form of verb. Base form infinitive past participle past tense present participle and the gerund these are the five parts are very important or known as these forms of a verb this is some examples base form the cattle gaze in the field gaze is here base form cattle are subject infinitive tell them not to play to play yes is here infinitive we add before verb to is known as infinitive past tense they played holy ball yesterday. Played is here. Past tense for. Past participle. I have eaten a mango. Yes, eaten is here. Past participle. Present participle. I saw them running the day. Present Present participle running. The action is going on. Jiran. Running is the best time. You know that? There is jiran. We add for plus I known as. So let's see the type of a finite verb. It is a form of verb that is performed by a subject. Example. Ramesh plays hockey. He is playing a football. Priya went to school. She had planned it another way. I'm going to make a trip. These examples we will see. The red word shows us these are the finite verbs. If we analyze the sentence, Ramesh is subject, plays is here finite verb, and the hockey is here object. You know that in this sentence, verb is performing by subject. Yes. Ramesh plays hockey. Who plays hockey? Ramesh plays in this way. He is playing a football. Who is playing football? He is playing a football in this way. He is subject playing is verb. Priya. Priya is subject when is here finite verb to school. Where next? She had planned it another way. She had is here subject, planned is here finite verb. It another way is remaining part of sentence or object. I am going to make a trip. I am is here subject. Going is here finite verb. You know that in these sentences, all verb performed by a subject. Like non-finite verb. Non-finite verb are not actual verb. Example: Walking is good habit. Ria went abroad to play. Playing cricket is his only job. To win us everything. Running is important. This sentence is red verb shows a non-finite verb. Finite verbs are not actual verbs. What? Yes, no, is, there, uh, there are two verbs. Sometimes we say play is is here or is that's why these are not actual verbs. 
action verbs. Action verbs indicates for the subject of a sentence uh, performs. For example, I painted the car. I is here subject, painted is here action verb. She is reading the newspaper. She is here subject, reading is here verb. I am watching the movie. I am is here subject, watching is here verb or action verb. They were playing the football. They were is here subject, playing is here action verb. The action verb. Action verbs. Action verbs indicates for the subject of a sentence performs. They do the action in the sentences. Remember, subject of a sentence perform. I painted the car. I is here subject. Who painted? I painted. Painted is here action the car. She is reading the newspaper. She is here subject and reading is here action verb. I am watching a movie. I am is here subject and watching is here action. I am or they were playing the football. They are here subject playing is action verb. Cat sat by the window. Cat is here subject. Sat is here verb. In this way, the red word shows us the action. Action word. And the, these words with the help of this subject. Subject are performing these actions. I painted. She is reading. I am watching. They were playing. The cat is sat. In this way, these are the action words. Linking verbs. A linking verb adds detail about the subject of a sentence. They do not express action. They link the subject to a noun and adjective. So remember the most important thing. They link the subject to noun and adjective in the sentences. For example, she appears ready for the game. She is here subject appear here linking for ready for the game. This is a noun. Here subject link game and she help appear. The food seems delicious. Food is subject. She is here linking verb and the delicious is here adjective. You look happy. You is here subject. Look is here linking verb and happy is here. The tomato smells rotten. The tomato is subject smells is here linking verb. The rotten in this way. The link it links the adjective and the subject the professor is absolutely sure sure is here thinking word in this way this word links other with the subject subject the noun sometimes subject with the adjective auxiliary verb auxiliary verbs are very important auxiliary verbs are also called helping verbs there are primary and the secondary auxiliary verbs we can use the, these auxiliary verbs showing ability, asking permission, possibility, making request, compulsions, offers, obligations, to give advice, probability, offers, suggestions, habit and promises, etc. For example, Rohini is going to school. I have seen a movie. They were they are walking in the park. Don't waste your time. I'm having a cup of tea. The red word shows are these are the auxiliary words. Rohini is going to school. Here we see Rohini is going to school. I have seen a movie. They are walking in the park. Don't waste your time. I am having a cup of model verb. A model verb is a kind of an auxiliary verb. For example, can, could, may, might, uh, should, must, ought to, shall, will, would, should. These are the model auxiliary verb. Model verbs. I will go there. It shows the possibility. I will go there. I is here subject. Will is here model. For she should call him. Your subject should is here model. They must play their best game to win. There is your subject must be here model. Her it shows compulsion. I may want to talk to you again. I is here subject. May is here model. Her it shows. Uh, we use may for asking permission. Can. can also we use sometimes for asking permission. But there are formal and informal different. Can I use your bike for an hour? Can is here shows its possibility or permission sometimes. Transitive verb formula. Subject plus transitive verb plus object. Transitive verb expresses an action directed towards a person. Place or thing. It usually followed by a noun. In the positive verb, object is present. Yes. Birds have feathers. Birds is here. Subject have is here. Transitive verb. And the feathers is here. No. I like English. I is here. Subject like is here. Transitive verb and English is here. Now he is eating a pear. He is here. Subject here. Transitive verb. The pear is here. Now he is writing an essay. He is here. Subject writing is transitive verb. Essay is here. Now teacher present. Feel. The teacher is subject present is in trans transitive verb and the feel is here. Object in this way. The transitive verb expresses an action directed towards a person. I birds have feathers. I like English. She is eating a pear. He is writing an essay. Teacher present. In this way, the red word shows your transitive verb. Okay, remember the formula is very important. Subject plus transitive verb plus object. In transitive verb formula, subject plus and transitive verb plus 
adverb a verb which does not need an ad a verb which does not need an object to make complete sense is called intransitive verb there is no object in the sentence yes. so wind blew strongly the wind is here subject do is here intransitive verb and strongly is here adverb the ship sank rapidly the ship is subject sank is intransitive verb and the rapidly is here adverb the wicked hunter or hiding the wicked wicked is here is adverb hunter or hiding hiding is here or mr ram mr rakesh is driving carefully mr rakesh is subject driving is intransitive verb the careful is adverb so aniket speaks loudly so aniket is subject is transitive verb and the loudly is adverb in this way is at the example of intransitive verb thank you all of you soon in the next video if you like my video please like thanking for watching this video i hope you must understood this concept of verb its type and so on thank you once again please like and subscribe my channel see my educational world see you soon bye bye